everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Someone's in the Kitchen with Sandy. So, this episode is about when Plankton steals the pelt from Sandy. You know, her fur. She takes off her fur when she's taking a shower, and Plankton just happens to sneak in her tree dome and snatch it, leaving Sandy nude and running all over Bikini Bottom to find it. <laughs> Funny bikini bottom. Okay, anyways, Plankton steals it just to impersonate Sandy to get the Krabby Patty secret formula from SpongeBob. So, someone's in the kitchen with Sandy is really bad. Oh, not only is it bad, but it is one of the laziest, one of the most unoriginal episodes of Spongebob. There is nothing original about this and you've seen this kind of plot before. I mean come on, Plankton impersonated as Gary and Plankton impersonated as his grandma. It's fine that he does that but really Plankton? Stealing Sandy's pelt when that squirrel is naked? Basically? <sighs> the writing is shit. Most of the humor is shit. A lot of things about this episode really is very lazy. It's very uninspired. It's just another way for basically the writers to have another episode out of the way instead of coming up with an idea that's actually better. I mean, were the writers like, hi? Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, wow. I am so fucking high. Hey, bro. We need that idea for the SpongeBob episode. Oh, fuck, that's right. Oh, I got an idea, bro. How about the an episode where Plankton steals Sandy's pelt and Sandy is naked? Dude, a naked squirrel? That would be so fucking rad. So rad. Write that shit down, bro. You know what, bro? I'm gonna fucking write it. I'm gonna fucking write it because you know why? It's gonna be the greatest idea for a SpongeBob episode ever. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, such genius! <sighs> That's basically how it felt to me. There's only like a few shining moments of the episode being funny, like Plankton's impersonation of Sandy in that scene with Larry the Lobster. That was a downright hilarious moment. Or there's another moment where he's in the kitchen with SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs, and Plankton's actually going hee haw! through like the um, top of Sandy's head going around it. That was actually hilarious and there might be one or two more moments I found pretty funny. As it's predicted, Sandy does get arrested at the end. And the pacing is very rushed. It's horribly paced, it's horribly written. The laziest episode. I'm going to give this episode a 3.5 out of 10. It's just an overall very forgettable and bad episode. It's one of the worst episodes of the series, in my opinion. Now I'm here to review the Spongebob episode, the inside job requested by Cinemust TV. Please check out their channels. I'm going to leave a link to their channel in the description below. Two very nice guys, highly recommend them. The inside job is about when Plankton once again is after the Krabby Patty secret formula, but he figures that the key is going inside Mr. Krabs' head. So Karen gets ready to launch Plankton inside Mr. Krabs' head, but Plankton misses his target and actually lands inside of SpongeBob's head instead. So Plankton's gonna have to go with the flow, going inside SpongeBob's head, hopefully trying to find some clues as to what the Krabby Patty secret formula could be. Does the inside job work for me? In my humble opinion, it certainly 
does. This is a very creative SpongeBob episode and it's very strange. It has a well written plot, the pacing is very well done. The episode does have its humor, but what really hits me about this episode is actually just the overall storyline and these events where Plankton is going inside SpongeBob's head like his brain. It's actually very creative stuff and I was really enjoying where the storyline was going and writers, I could just tell they had a lot of things planned going on for the inside job. It was a very interesting episode. It's definitely very strange. The episode gets f more strange as it progresses and once it gets to the end, wow, holy crap. It's a funny, strange ending that the episode provides and the episode surprisingly does kind of push the boundaries a bit since it does show disturbing images i mean plankton larry goes inside spongebob's brain and what do you see inside spongebob's brain a replica of his own home brain gary still moving around and to quote what plankton just said in that specific scene ooh, that's disgusting plankton Larry said the exact same thought I had when I saw Gary and brain form just moving. It's all like, oh, oh. Yeah, and that's what I really dug about this episode. I loved how strange it was, and I definitely loved how it pushed the boundaries of being pretty disturbing. It wasn't afraid to hold back on the strangeness, honestly. So I respect and I appreciate this episode for that. Yes, it's very funny, but I appreciate it more for being this bizarre and very interesting concept. And I thought the writers really explored it so damn well. It kept me invested. It kept me entertained. I was never bored. The only problem I could say about this episode is that I did find a couple of SpongeBob secrets a little stupid, like... For example, the whole back scratchy thing, it's all like, what the hell? The inside job, in my opinion, it's a very creative episode. It's pretty original and it pushes the boundaries of being strange with the very bizarre ending that's funny, but yeah, it's very weird at the same time. So the inside job gets a nine out of 10. Yes, it was bizarre. Yes, it was strange, but you know what? I freaking enjoyed the hell out of it. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.